Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and there is another humble bundle of interest. Not specifically to game developers, but developers in general. And this one is the um, Humble Book Bundle Programming Cookbooks by O'Reilly Press. And unlike another publisher, PAC, <coughs> Oh, excuse me there. Um, O'Reilly Press has a pretty good track record of bringing out top quality books. And these are all in their cookbook format. Now in this video, we're gonna go through, we'll take a look at exactly how the cookbook format looks, and we'll look at what the contents are in this humble bundle. As always, if I find the bundle of interest, I buy it so I can show it to you hands on. Now in this case, this is a book bundle, so it's pretty straightforward exactly what you're gonna get. I'm not gonna showcase, you know, the software involved or anything else, but I am gonna show you the books, the book formats, and so on. So without further ado, let's jump in and take a look. First off, it is available over on HumbleBundle.com. Of course, I will toss you a link down below. Uh, by the way, it's an affiliate link. So if you do purchase, you are helping the channel out. And thank you for that. Um, so this particular one, again, nothing specific to game development. But what we've got here and the way that Humble Bundle works is you buy or give money at different tiers. So you pay $1, um, you get this tier of results. If you pay a little bit more, you pay $8, you get this tier. And if you pay $15, you get this tier. So if I pay $15, by the way, I get this tier, this tier, and this tier. Whereas if I pay $8, I get this tier and this tier. So that's standard on how Humble Bundle works. Now, the nice thing about Humble Bundle is you can also direct how your money goes. So you can say O'Reilly gets this much, Humble Bundle gets this much, I get this much, and um, Charity gets X amount on top. And in this case, the default charity is Code for America or Charity Water. But you can actually pick your own uh, when you check out. So heading on back up, here we look at the first tier and we've got Windows PowerShell Cookbook, Regular Expressions Cookbook, Perl Cookbook, PHP Cookbook, and the Android Cookbook. Now in this day and age, not too many Perl programmers out there. Same with PHP. And then I have a personal bias against both languages, so I'm not going to get into that. But Regular Expressions are still one of those things that are used consistently even in the world of game development, if you're doing string searching or string matching, you're probably going to touch on regular expressions. And the cool thing about cookbooks is these are all about how do I accomplish task X, Y, or Z. So if you're looking for a specific regular expression, you will probably find that in the book. And the ditto for the Android cookbook. Now, another cool thing about this actual bundle is you would often think, okay, well, I'm getting sold old and out of date versions. And that's not actually the case, as we will see shortly. These are actually all the current edition. So if it's the second edition, that means second edition is generally the newest. Uh, at the second tier, we've got the SQL cookbook, the JavaScript cookbook, uh, the Ar I have no idea how to say that, Arduino uh, cookbook, the Raspberry Pi cookbook, and the Bash cookbook. Is it Arduino? Uh, I've always been interested, actually. Raspberry Pi and Arduino, I've been interested in both those. One is like a build-your-own microprocessor type environment, and one is a micro-sized computing environment. And both are kind of cool from a hobbyist perspective, and neither have I, neither of them have I touched on at all in the past. So I'm looking forward to jumping into both of these books. And then at the final tier, we have the Scala cookbook, the CSS cookbook, the Python cookbook, the Docker cookbook, and the R cookbook. R is a programming language, Scala is a programming language, and Python is a programming language. Docker is actually the reason why I ultimately bought this collection. It is worth it alone for that one book, just because Docker is this new all-encompassing deployment um, method for um, server-side software that I know almost nothing about, and I need to fill in that blank. So that's personally the book that I'm most interested in reading is that one. But as you go through this list, you will see, obviously, there is not a focus on game development. And unfortunately, and I really wish this was otherwise, there's no C Sharp or C++ in this list, which is a bit of a disappointment. But from a programmer's perspective, especially for a game programmer, uh, the Python cookbook could definitely be useful. The JavaScript cookbook could definitely be useful. And as I mentioned earlier on, the uh, regular expressions book could definitely be useful as well. And then some of these are kind of depends on your environmental situation. It's just general utility stuff. Um, SQL is often handy to use. If you're on Unix or Linux, Bash is probably handy to have. That's your typical command shell. Or if you are on Windows, your PowerShell cookbook is probably pretty useful to use too. Although it's not really specific to programming, more along the lines of system maintenance type stuff. Now, when you go ahead and buy this bundle, this is what you ultimately get. So you get all of these books. And the cool thing is you actually get them in PDF, EPUB, and Mobi form. So if you've got an e-reader, you can actually download it in an e-reader native format. I believe they also have the ability to send it to your, yep, yeah, uh, you can send it to your Kindle devices. Um, it's, 
it's a, kind of a straightforward and easy collection. And the nice thing is with any of the Humble Bundles, you automatically have this archive. So if you need to go get any of these books again, you just log back into your account and the downloads are all available right there. So as an example, here is one of the typical cookbooks. This is the Python cookbook. Um, and what you see, the way that kind of the format a cookbook goes is, like I said, it's kind of a, a how-to collection. So we see here we've got data structure. So this one doesn't really teach you Python, but it shows you how to do these specific tasks in Python. So if I need to implement a priority queue or sort objects with native comparison support, or we've got uh, strings and text support here, numbers and dates and times, iterators and generators. So it's all kind of like... I want to accomplish X using this. How do I do it? And then each one is a straight up example on and on and so forth. So for example, if I want, um, I don't know, let's pick one of these things, meta programming, applying decorators to a class with static methods. Here you'll see the problem described and then literally a source example showing you how to go ahead and do it. And then a bit of an explanation of why and how. So, and that's kind of the format that all of these books take. They're all very much task oriented. I am trying to accomplish X. Now, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video, one of the nice things about O'Reilly, unlike certain other publisher, is their editors actually know their job and they put out generally high quality works without bad grammatical um, errors in them and just a higher general quality of standards. So normally all of the books in here are going to be pretty good. Now to put things into perspective, the top tier of this guy is, as I mentioned, it's 15 bucks US, whereas Python Cookbook 3rd Edition, the one we just looked at here as an example, here it is on Amazon US in US dollars. To buy it for Kindle, uh, you are looking at uh, between, oh, so there, you're looking at 25 bucks. So one book on Kindle would cost you $10 more than the entire collection. So really it kind of boils down to, is there a single book on here? They're all generally around the same price in ebook format. They're all about, you know, that 20, 25 buck range. So if there is a single book in this collection that looks useful to you, this is a good deal. Now, again, it's not specifically game developer related, so there may be nothing of interest to you generally, but I thought it's a good enough deal. It's good enough quality product and it's a broad enough category of topics that I would definitely feature this one. And as I mentioned, Docker is the one that I'm really looking out for and what I got the package for, but there's a few books here I'll go through. Definitely. These are also kind of books that you put on your virtual shelf. So when you're trying to solve a given problem, they're a handy reference guide. So it's nice to have this ever growing collection of books that I'm getting from, uh, these humble bundles in general, especially again, like I said, it's 15 bucks for the top tier or $25 for a single book. So if, if you see a book you want, it is kind of a no brainer. Now, the final thing I'm going to close with is here's the Arduino cookbook cover. And there's something about that image that I am finding absolutely and overwhelmingly terrifying. I don't know why. I just, it, it, it reminds me of a tool video and yeah, it, it just creeps me. It creeps me out. So anyways, that is the Humble Programmer Book Bundle, uh, programming cookbooks from O'Reilly, uh, top tier 15 bucks, and there's there's some pretty decent stuff in there. So if you're interested, do check it out. Link will be down below. Uh, oh, by the way, I also, I have bought the package. If there's any specific question you have about any of the books in there, do let me know, and I will uh, do my best to answer in the comments down below as well. All right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.